In this video, I'm going to show you how to don and clear a gas mask, and I'm going to use two different examples or two different types. You have one gas mask that uses canisters that are easy to replace, and then you also have um, ones that have cheek filters. So you have one on each side, makes you kind of look like a chipmunk. So we're going to cover both of them. So the first thing that I want to talk about is preparation. So Preparation is key. First thing that you want to do before and after using a gas mask is make sure that it's clean. So when you first get your gas mask, make sure that you clean it, you know, Lysol wipes, and then I recommend something like Ballistol, B-A-L-L-I-S-T-O-L. And you can order that online if you're in the lower 48. There are some places here in Alaska that actually do sell it now. Uh, so that's really good because it's good for preserving rubbers, polymers, you know, all that other stuff gives it a nice... Uh, nice little texture so in here you can see some areas that you would definitely want to preserve like this rubber to keep uh, keep a good seal and you want to make sure that you clean out all these areas where your breath might shoot humidity because I can tell you this voice diaphragm deep in here uh, you'll see the condensation in there if you're exercising with a gas mask on which by the way is actually excellent for uh, getting you to be more efficient in processing oxygen so I do recommend that. So next thing is after you've cleaned and you know use like ballastol on it or something like that to preserve the material, my recommendation is to prep it. So the way I do that is I put on the canister um, all the way and then I back it off about an eighth or a quarter of a turn, just enough to undo it. And then I rotate the straps forward. So basically take it from from this position and if you have straps that need to be preset like this then you want to preset them these ones were floppy so I took electrical tape and secured them so they're all good now they won't be flopping around minimal flop so you want to preset them and that will require you to put this on and you know kind of see where it uh, where the settings are and see if it's good Luckily, this one was pretty much good to go for me. So then I just take this and fold it around, and it goes for this specific mask. The, these little straps that secure to these hooks go here, and I just flip these uh, <clears throat> levers around right here, and it's ready to go. And then you can store it in your bag like this one. I would store it probably upside down. So the hooks aren't, you know, grabbing anything when you pull it out. So, there you go. Now, that's preparation for this one. So when I, when I grab it, I can hold it against my face and then sweep this up and over for my Dawn Clear process. Now, the one that has cheek filters, this one, this is an M17 copy from the Czech Republic. So this is a pretty old design. So it has little cheek filters. Typically, if you're getting this new, you're going to have to clean it out. And it's going to have a lot of talc powder type stuff. Um, but you're going to have to install the filters and everything. But anyways, the thing with this that you're going to have to worry about is uh, it's not as hard as like the French one where you're going to have to almost adjust every strap. Uh, the top ones are going to have to be adjusted because they don't have any way to adjust the top strap so you want to make sure that it's on your head properly that it's just below the base of your the back of your skull uh, the base of the back of your skull so the rest of these are adjustable and they have nice little like rubbery type tabs right here that you can feel and pull and I have them pretty much out all the way and you can see that it's flipped all the way around over the over the lens and that's how it is. So it preps it so that it's easier to find this strap and that it's in the right configuration for when I do need to don and clear. And this one came with a bag. So, you know, I would basically just store it probably upside down. And there's a lot of room in this bag. So, you know, this is part of the preparation. How do you want to be able to grab it out of the bag? And like this, you basically grab by both cheeks open it up and then you go through your dawn and clear process now I'm going to talk to you about dawn and clear for both of these but first let's go ahead and talk about the French one because it's a little bit more traditional and something that you'll probably find more often so 
This has a removable canister. Uh, you're, it, it's got a specific Dawn Clear process because the actual exhale valve is accessible and it has a removable canister so it has a specific way of donning and clearing it that is actually pretty functional and very common. So, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the Dawn and Clear process. So, first thing that you want to do is get your chin in to into the little chin slot here. And most gas masks are going to have a place for your chin, so you want to secure it nicely to your chin and then rock it back to your head as you're pulling these straps over the back of the head. And if you have straps like this, you'll want to secure them. If you don't have straps like this and they're like this, just adjustable ones, then immediately get on uh, cinching down the straps and try to hold this to your face while you're doing it. And I recommend just holding it across, not block blocking this valve yet, but go ahead and push it across. So, just like this, then one. Another one. Then from this process, since this one is loose, the idea here is to get it back a quarter turn and throw it. And that'll be tight enough to get a good seal. Now, it's called donning clear. I've donned it, now I've got to clear it. Because if you're in an environment that's smoky, you have gas, chemical, whatever, you want to purge whatever you took into your mask with you. So, the thing is, is to block the exhale valve and the intake valve, and you're going to blow and then try to suck in. Now, when you blow, it's going to sound like a fart because it's purging all that extra air because it can't come out this area. So, when you inhale, it's going to suck the mask to your face and ensure that you actually have a tight seal. So, blow and suck, and nice tight seal. Yep, it's all good. So that is a traditional uh, gas mask that has a removable seal on it. So I just back that gas canister off. Pretty simple, and every time you change out the canister, you want to go ahead and clear it again. So because where the canister is, it, it has an intake a valve that can actually be uh, easily accessed. I guess you could you could easily suck air in. So. With this one, it's the same process, chin first. You want to make sure that it's nice and deep in there because, yeah, this this one can be kind of uh, awkward, especially if you haven't set up these straps yet. You want to make sure it's centered uh, at the lower portion of your skull. That way it actually pulls down into it, especially with these cheek filters. Make sure it's ni nice and tight, uh, but don't get these too tight to where you can't undo them because that's one of the problems with this is they are not that easy to undo. Uh, so make sure that you don't get it on too too hard. So anyways Same process and Strip strip intake valves you this thing right here this is where the air comes out of right here so it's nice and protected this little beige valve you can see the air escapes out of there and there's no real good way to block this so you can you know clear it out there's just no good way to do it well a little bit if you really like cinch it down It'll give you a little bit of a fart, but that if you have gloves on or something like that, it's pretty hard to do. But it will fog up your lenses. Like mine are pretty a little fogged up right now. So <clears throat> that's the basics on donning and clearing two different types of gas masks. So they're not just for you know chemical biological environments. Hey, they're really good for you know physical training and stuff, but. Uh, if you actually need one, it's important to know how to put one on. And this goes for other types of gas masks as well. You need to be able to don and clear it because if you're in an environment where you need it, you're probably bringing stuff in with you. So that's where you don and clear it out. So I'm not really, I, I would really have to 
check to see if uh, just blowing a lung full of air would clear out this check mask, but it, it doesn't really get into to the eye sockets, uh, so the eye area here. So yeah, if you bring tear gas in with you, how are you gonna actually uh, clear it out? I don't know. So somebody could probably come up with some, <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's how to don and clear a gas mask. Pretty simple. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and you guys have a good one.